I got a bit of a death wobble. Raining so hard. It doesn't like pour out. <laughs> you just gotta be real quick. You see this big rock hit this <laughs> caddy? This thing is sweet. starting our 500 mile trip across three different states, Montana, Idaho, Washington for the Underpower Tour. Super excited, we're driving in the Impala. Just got a fresh set of gears and a posi in this baby. So pretty excited about that. Um, I could use an overdrive now. We got them 373s. So it's uh, just screaming right along here. 80 is the new 60, so. Anyway, uh, we're trying to make our way over to Kingston, Idaho right now. Beautiful trip through the mountains. And uh, we're gonna eat at the Snake Pit, oldest restaurant in Idaho. So stay tuned, it should be a good, good time. Well, I can't believe it either. But the brown car is on, uh-oh. That's right. The brown car is on the uh, underpower tour. <laughs> we are, uh, about 15 miles from home, we're cruising about 70 miles an hour, and she's just trucking right along. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll check in about Kingston area when we meet up with Josh. We'll uh, check in soon. traffic. Can't see it good though. Yeah! All right, well, we're about two hours into the trip, about a hundred miles. And uh, the car's running so far so good. Has a hair of a little bit of a stumble at the top end. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, cruising about 80. I don't know what this brake light is. I think I unplugged something when I was under there because it's been on this whole time and my brakes aren't on. But it is pouring rain. Glad I replaced my wipers before we left. Cruising along here about 75 or so. This car just cruises awesome. Raining so hard. Oh, I can actually see better through the GoPro than I can through my windshield. But it is raining so hard that my windshield wipers aren't keeping up on high. Just ate at the snake pit. Very good, very delicious. Just put this restaurant in Idaho. Yeah, right here in Kingston, Idaho. So we ate a bunch of greasy food. This thing ate a bunch of grease. This thing ate some, <laughs> you know, ate some oil. It's all right. Quarter and a half, no big deal. It's here. It's here. Made it further than last year. Made it way further than last year. So, all right, he's gonna top off. And then we're gonna hit the road. It's probably gonna get dark on us, but uh, pretty cool road um, through the mountains. So, anyway, underpowered tours going awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We brought some walkie talkies so the kids can talk between the cars. Best decision ever. It's been pretty fun. So, it's getting dark. I know you can't tell on the camera. But uh, getting 
dark. We're gonna be getting to the hotel kind of late. But gosh, this is what it's all about. Right here, just cruising with the fam. Some old iron on some open roads. So yeah, get out there with your kids and do some driving in your old cars. It's just, it's a great time. That's why we put in all the hours to build these things is to go out and enjoy them on the open road with your kids, with your family. It's great. So anyway, see you at the hotel. All right, we made it to the Riverfront Motel in Thompson Falls. It's pretty nice little room we got here. I mean, the girls and I are cozying up on this bed. Anyway, it's late, it's like 11. <laughs> that road was a lot more fun in the daylight. It was raining. It was foggy. The defroster in, or defogger in my car does not work. Like the fan motor is not, the switch is broken or something. And so I'm literally having to like wipe the window down with a paper towel. It was not fun, but we made it. So uh, anyway, we'll see you in the morning, a cup of coffee. Deer. And oh yeah, did almost take out a deer. That would have been number eight with the Impala, which is Why? pretty impressive. Why? Because I've deer? killed seven deer with the Impala and not dented it once. That thing is a deer slayer. Good morning. Day two under power tour. Kicking off here, we're just gonna check the fluids real quick. These old cars, you gotta check the fluids pretty much every time you drive them. So even if it's in the same day. But uh, I don't know, we put maybe 200 miles on it yesterday. Maybe like 150, but just wanna check everything out, make sure we're all good. Um, it's gonna be another wet one today. Sweet, oil's good, coolant's good. So I'll check the tranny fluid when we get out of here. I think I wanna jack up the rear end and check out that differential real quick, make sure nothing major's going on there. Well, everything looks good, so I think we're gonna get loaded up and hit the road here. Head on over to Sandpoint, Idaho, and uh, check out all the little shops, maybe get some coffee, some brunch, so should be a good time. Dude, how's the trip up? Car's running good. I got an oil either leak or use <laughs> issue that I don't know where it's coming from, so I'm going through. Buy some stock in Napa right now, because we're gonna go probably buy like 10 quarts of oil for the rest of the trip. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be expensive, especially with gas at $5 a gallon. Yeah, and we've got like 300 miles left, so 10 quarts. You can do the math. Right yeah, up. it's gonna, right <laughs> yeah, it's gonna use right oil faster than season fuel, right I think. Right faster, faster. All right, well, we just fueled up, got ourselves some coffee, and uh, hitting the road. Hey, there's our hotel again. Oh yeah, got some hot cocoa, got some scones, a little treat to tie us over. Now we're uh, just gonna follow the river over to Sandpoint, Idaho, um, and then you know, get some more food, because that's what road trips are all about. Eating, driving, and uh, just hanging out with family, so it's, it's a good time.
Western Montana never disappoints. It is beautiful out here, even with the rain. Check out this ambulance. Caddy, this thing is sweet. That truck is sweet. Yeah. Dude, there was a Rambler for sale in uh, Sprague. Oh yeah? For like 800 bucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the trunks on these looks. And it's titled, dude. Good. Yeah. Have you? No. It's an R series, R110. Always hey. love old Jeeps. Come here. You're counting them? Don't touch them. Well, that What's a freezer? They were. Little comment. They were with somebody else. That's dude, they me. all have plates. Is, dude, is this a Thompson? Edsel. Oh, an Edsel? Corvair. Suicide Door Thunderbird. Mustang. Ooh, a Studebaker. I love that bullet grill. You got like three Studebakers here. Oh, this Studebaker is nice. style dude i love like the, the rear bumper like on the studebakers yeah that was cool that he oh. a studebaker truck yeah uh, what's interesting is that both of those are studebakers oh this one too yeah and that one has the eight foot bed they only made a hundred of them oh my gosh want an eight foot bed. <laughs> yeah who wants an eight foot bed did you screw up yeah, yeah no kidding Rambler wagon. Two door Rambler wagon. What? Dude, check that. Dude. And they're <laughs> generally cheaper. And they're usually like not, we don't get that much, we didn't get that much salt. We got water, but we don't got salt. Yeah. So it doesn't like rust. Yeah, dude, yeah. Had, it was this right here on a motorhome frame. It was one of these. What? Yeah. Pretty front end. I love it. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> and that low. Well, is it you know. Is it tires? Yeah, because it doesn't have tires. Yep. Like that. That's, but perfect. Dude, that'd be like, that's the right height for that. The ones that had the sides. That dude. <laughs> that thing is sweet. Is that window rolled down? Park lane. It might. The rear of that thing is so weird and awesome. Oh my gosh. Dude, I think it does. I would pressure wash this thing, get it running and do nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> You see this big rock hit this? <laughs> oh yeah. I wonder if it slid. Crazy. What? A dart wagon? I mean, it's rough. There is some gold in here. Dude. A V8 dart wagon. What? Yeah. Dude, a bullnose F-150. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Another Edsel. Yep. International. Something with one of these old mail blocks in it. Yeah. Another Edsel. Yeah. International. Ooh, a Jeep. 
real close to my first car right here. Same colors. Check out that bump. It's got a pretty good push bumper on that Mercury. That's real close to the color of the uh, um, Crown Vic. It's yeah. like silver, more silver. This hood needs some help. Yeah, it looks like a tree. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a weird looking cab. Like an old bread truck? Arco van. Fire truck? Dude, you got... Um. Ooh, at 500. Dude, that's 500. It's like 10 and, a, 10 and a half. Yeah. Two of them. Hey. So check out this blue car right here. See that dark blue car? See what that is? Uh, wasn't that a Lincoln? It's a Mercury. Oh. Yeah, but it's, it is a Lincoln, but it's a Mercury. Like nameplate and Mercury badging and everything. Like, huh. like that's a prime demo derby body style and era. Yeah. And I still don't see those very often. And I see, you see the Ford and the that Lincoln. Cool. Yeah, like you don't see the, you see these with the Lincoln grill and you see them with the, the Ford grill. But you don't see the Mercury ones. Yeah. Dude, even a revival on this. I think the Mercury stuff went to Canada. Is like Okay. Like that's why like the like I would love to find an M series truck. Like an M150, a Mercury grill on a Ford pickup. Oh man, this Buick is hammered. Dude, a revival on this would be hilarious. Remember when they the roadkill one that was all um uh -uh, I haven't seen that. You haven't? Uh uh. It was, it was a car that looked like it swung into a tree. Oh, and they revived it? And yeah, it? and it did not drive straight. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it's that rock, dude. It came right through here. I wonder if that's what this is, if it bounced. You think? Yeah. I think so. The that rock drive. bounced over the hood. Holy cow. Where did the rock go? <laughs> that's wild. Look at that giant rock, Ains. Um, I can't Okay, come over here. Oh, yeah. I think it fell off the mountain, bounced over this truck, smashed between those two cars. Wow. That, was that means this car wasn't that bad. No, did you see the other side? Was it bad? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Is it? Oh, I can't. No, it's not. Oh, is it not? Maybe that was the other car I walked past that. Alright, we should hit the road. Yeah. I just had delicious breakfast over at Connie's Cafe, Sandpoint, Idaho. Was it good? Yeah. So now we're gonna try to bomb over to Republic, Washington, watch some racing. No, little dirt track mud throwing. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Definitely gonna be muddy. It, the rain has not let up 
since we left, I think, home. No, I have not. Yeah. I have not seen dry pavement since I left Clarkson. Yeah. So that junkyard was pretty dang awesome. Yeah, that was. So we're gonna have to stop by there again sometime. Anyway, things are going great. Flawless. <laughs> Flawless, yeah. Flawless. A <laughs> quarter oil every 100 miles, no big deal. The rain has really picked up here. down the path I noticed Josh is uh hey, a little bit of a death wobble. What? What? Um did you bring a zippy? Zip tie? Uh snappy? No. Oh, okay. Why? Is there a lot to go or what? Maybe try cranking on the wheel and uh maybe get it spin in the bowl. Oh So I had a steering arm bolt that was kind of loose, so a couple that are loose. And they will get one of them tightened down, but the other one, the bolt is spinning. And it's a bigger job than I want to take on the side of the road here. Because um, I got to pull the rotor off to get, pretty sure I got to pull the rotor off to get to that back, uh, the back side of that bolt. So anyway, the rotor comes off by, I'm, I will have to like readjust the bearings. Uh, so it's all good. Anyway, we'll do it at the parking lot tonight. I got it tightened up enough now to take care of the death wobble. So I'm just gonna kind of take it easy. So um, I don't stress that loose bolt too much. Stopped the overlook, it's so close. And it's so foggy, we wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. Kettle Crest. Here we are, 5,500 feet. One 
wet weekend, that's for sure. canceled so no racing tonight we're gonna go grab some food just kind of hang out and uh, check back with you in the morning so anyway it's kind of a bummer we're gonna have to make our way back up here because it looks like it'd be a pretty good time it's a 3 8 mile oval track dirt track pretty good banks on the corners I think it'd probably be a pretty fun time so anyway like I said we're gonna get some food Check back with you in the morning. Oh, I'm a court. I'm a court low. Perfect. Court low, and you filled it. I put in Colville. I put two courts in in Colville. <laughs> so we are gonna try this uh, world famous Bard Hall. <laughs> Just some fans. Uh, no smoke with stop leak. All right. Uh, as you can see, it has the consistency of. Uh, Flows real quick. Flows real quick. This is gonna go in. This is gonna go in real fast. Do you need a butter knife? <laughs> like cut it into it. I gotta be real quick. To, I gotta be able to pour this. I gotta, so you gotta be able to pour this real fast so it doesn't like pour out. You just gotta be real quick. So I think, dude. I think the move is you while outside the car you turn it over and then you move it to inside the rig. I didn't, I didn't really read it. We're supposed to use the whole bottle. <laughs> it can't hurt at this point. At each oil change, add two crankcakes, eight ounces for four cylinders, or 16 ounces. Yeah, this is 16 ounces. Yeah, this is a big V8, too. Yeah, yeah not just a little V8. You know, 350. <laughs> One side's not gonna smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have put it in both. <laughs> I think you just like leave this here overnight. Yeah, maybe. And then in the morning it'll all be drained in there. Will the hood shut with it? Oh yeah, it's like under the anchor. It's under that. Yeah. All you gotta do is remember in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gotta check my... Yeah, I can't pull that. In the yet. morning I'll do that. I don't want to do it tonight. So yesterday on the... Going through all that windy stuff, kind of got a little bit of death wobble and uh, so we pulled over it and checked it out. Um, there's a steering linkage that's kind of loose and I was able to get one bolt tightened. So my GoPro froze, so I don't know if you missed it, but last night we had a little death wobble going through the windy stuff and basically I got a steering arm that's loose. We were able to get one bolt tightened up last night, but the other ones are behind this rotor. I didn't want to do it on the side of the road, so we're going to do it in the rain in the parking lot instead. Do you have the uh, wrench for the hub nut? hope so. So last night I left this upside down, and I thought I got everything out of it, but the line was like right there. That stuff's thick. I'm not a carpenter. I run electrical tools. 
All right, all buttoned up. Should be much, much better. No more death wobble. Um, so it was only, yeah, only when I turned left, but a little sketchy on the mountain roads when I'm hauling my precious cargo. So anyway, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then uh, make our way down to Keller Ferry. I have installed on Josh's car a twin turbo whistle kit. He's, he's talked about turbo in this before in the past, and uh, I just thought maybe uh, do something nice for him. Or eBay turbo kits like 400 bucks. These, a pair of them on Amazon were $14, so money savings right there. And if you ask me, I should probably fix this exhaust hanger thing so he doesn't see it. Okay. So, there they are right there, they just kind of screw in with a, and hopefully that is enough up in there that it'll whistle and he doesn't see it. That's the plan. Hopefully he doesn't notice it. Okay. He has no idea. He is mere feet away from his triggers. All right, just had breakfast. Gonna fuel up, check the, check all of our levels here. Oil's good. I haven't used any oil this trip, so that's awesome. Alex is making up for it though. That's good. Be all the way through. Sweet, I think I got better than 10 this time. Did you had a spot when you were under 10? Yeah, that, the last two tanks. All right, we're all fueled up, ready to head towards Keller Ferry. Kids are a little nervous. Because I told them we we're putting the cars on a boat and then riding across. And they're like, they don't know about that. Talked about everything else, I might as well uh, add tires to the way out. Hopefully that engine honey does something. So we'll see when we get back to my place. Um, if the oil consumption has gone down, so. All right, let's hit the road. You know, this trip has been pretty dang awesome. It's been really uh, rainy. Yeah, it's been very, very wet. The trip did not go uh, the direction I expected, but I couldn't hope for any better. Like, man, just all the quality time with my kids and hey, hanging out with my best friend. Hey, and Dad, you were going to go to the race on both I know. We, we didn't go to the races, they got rained out, but we had a really good dinner, hung out at the park, and uh, still just had a great time. You know, just lots, lots and lots of uh, quality time with my kids. Hanging out with my best friend, and huge shout out to Jessica for coming on the trip, despite being the only wife on the trip. And hanging out with two numbskulls, Alex and I. But uh, yeah, this is what it's all about. Getting in your old iron, traveling down the open road with your family, and just seeing what there is to see in this great country. So, a little less rainy today. The sun actually peeked through a little bit. I don't know if we're going to get any more of that today, but I'm enjoying not having to run the wipers. So. I'll take it even if it's just for a few minutes. Gosh, this this country is just gorgeous. Look at this. I mean, I'm sorry about the crack in my window, but look at this. Can you imagine having a property like this, just nestled here in the mountains? It's kind of crazy.
made it to the ferry. It's a little bit busier than last time we were here. So, you don't have to be scared. I'm kind of don't be scared. Well, I, I, I'm so, kind of scared. No, just like a five minute little boat ride. <laughs> scared but excited? Yes, I'm scared because I've never done this before. Yeah, we're moving. You ah. are? Yeah, we're in the we're away from the dock. Oh my goodness. This is so slow. Yeah, it's not a fast ride. Oh, okay. How you doing, Ave? Good. Yeah. It's barely moving. Supposed to be connected on that front pipe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Pipe it came off, and kind of see some damage on the bottom side of it. Funny thing is, is I replaced this clamp because last year in the Enterpower Tour, when I got drug onto the trailer, it ripped it off and completely mangled it. So this has like 500 miles on it, and it's already beat up. <laughs> Sitting kind of low. Oh, I need to like recess your floor plant pans for your exhaust. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Different viscosity oil I put in this room. It's 
got uh, 1040 conventional. It's got some 2050 full synthetic. It's got some 1030. What did I what did I get from you? 1030. Okay. Uh, it's got conventional. 2050 conventional. It's got some motor honey, and it's got some 40 straight weight. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess the cons the viscosity's around 30. Yeah, something like that. Well, I don't know. That motor honey might have like dropped it down to like 50 itself. Yeah. yeah. So, well, we made it back. I'd say that uh, Underpower Tour 2022 was a success. Yeah, it was a win. Great, great trip. So, lots of changing of plans along the way, but that's uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah. It was a fun time. So this guy's got a couple more hours. A more miles. So a couple more quarts of oil, no big deal. I don't yeah. know, maybe just another half quart. Yeah. I think the motor hunting might have worked a little bit. I think it, it helped. Helped. I don't know how, was it still smoking quite a bit? Oh yeah. It was, yeah. It's mostly the passenger bank. Okay. Yeah. But But I put the motor honey in the driver bank. Oh. So the next quart of motor honey I put in, I'll put on the passenger bank. Yeah, maybe it is the valve sim seals. Yeah. Awesome, awesome trip. I can't wait to go on some more cruises this summer. Maybe uh, it's some downtown Spokane. I know there's a few groups that like to run that. Maybe head down to Hot August Nights, yeah. get some car shows. Got to get these old girls out a little bit more. If you're uh, the uh, Clarkson Cruisers, I believe starts at Napa like every Friday night in the summer. Oh, sweet. And they just is like uh, hanging out and Run with your and uh, yeah, we sit around the parking lot and then we drive around for a bit. Right on. So, anyway, it was a great time. Thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. We'll see you next time.